Okay, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to set up uh, DHCP where uh, we put the DHCP order, uh, uh, where we put the DHCP server in the voice VLAN. Okay, uh, let me explain to you how this topology works. Okay. The IP address of this uh, router is 192.168.69. Uh, this is a typo, okay? 192.168.69.254. Also, the DHCP server is 192.168.69.2. Okay, the gateway is 192.168.69.1 this will be in the voice VLAN as you notice that so how we gonna configure this uh, this multi-layer switch okay first of all we need to have this one okay we set up a dual VLAN on each of the port in the multi-layer switch the command is interface fast ethernet 0 1 2 for example 20 or 24 uh, you put switch port uh, access vlan 68 switch port mode access and then switch port voice vlan 69 okay so basically we create a dual vlan on each of the port okay except the last one the last one uh, we're gonna use that to connect to the core okay all right uh, so the next thing that we're gonna do is this one uh, here in the fast ethernet 24 uh, this port is going to connect to the core which is IP address 172.16.1.22 uh, 255.255.255.252 that is referred to this one this port 24 gonna connect to the core but uh, in this video I just want to focus how to set up a dual VLAN in this uh, topology where the HCP server is in the voice VLAN okay the next thing uh, we, the next thing that we're gonna do is to create this interface VLAN 68 and IP address 192.168.1.255.255.255.0 and then you have to put an IP address here IP helper address which is 192.168.69.2 that is referred to the DHCP IP address okay because in the DHCP uh, because in the DHCP server we create two VLAN and since the default is the voice VLAN so we need to put that so we need to put this one uh, IP helper address of this IP address 192.168.69.2 in the data VLAN okay so let me tell you what I'm talking about okay uh, here okay the server this is the this is the voice pools which is a server pools 192.168.9.1 notice that this is in the voice VLAN okay and the TFTP server is 192.168.69.254 that mean when it, when the computers or when the computers uh, request an IP address it will not go to this it will not get the IP address from this pool instead they're gonna get this one 192.168.68.1 okay so when the computer boot up it will get an IP address from this pool okay the DHCP uh, IP address which is this one I put it in the 192.168.69.254 that's what I'm referring to all right after you do that then you're gonna set up the routing IP then you're gonna set up the routing I uh, routing protocol which is OSPF right 
you have these two number 172.16.0.0 and 192.160.0.0 so uh, that is what I'm trying to say uh, for the routers this is the configuration of the router for the router configuration which is in this one CME3 uh, the configuration is as follow uh, we're gonna put uh, where is it here fast ethernet uh, 0 sub 0 uh, this is a uh, fast Ethernet 0 sub 0, which is 192.168.69.254.255.255.255. That is referred to the interface here. Okay. The FA0 sub 0. All right. Uh, what else here? Then you're going to set up the routing protocol for the routers. And then you can connect this actually the default routing you can revert this to the dns okay or you can revert this to the the voice vlan uh, to the voice to the voice vlan uh, ip address which is 192.168.69.1 the rest of that uh, you need to set up the dial peer voice one voip and destination parent one dot 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 that means they have three dots right that means it will dial to 1000 extension like 1001 1002 and 1003 this is important session target ip version 4 192.168.65.3 that is referred to the ip address of this one the cisco unified call manager gateway okay in this side so this extension the extension in distribution 3a can call to this extension using this destination pattern 192.168.65.3 what else here in this configuration uh, and then you're gonna put telephony service right uh, maximum iphone 5 maximum dn5 and ip source IP address 192.168.69.255 port 2000 this is referred to the IP address of Cisco Unified Call Manager Express so I hope that you review this uh, handout again uh, to have a better understanding how to set up a DHCP server where the DHCP server is in the voice VLAN in the earlier video or in another video I show you uh how to set up uh dhcp server similar to this one but we put the dhcp server in the data vlan okay so i just want to let you aware that uh, there are several ways how to do that uh, all right so that's about it so thank you for watching